Hey guys, um, one of the, uh, <clears throat> if you saw my cemetery challenge, uh, one of the things a lot of people asked for was how I did the torches, so I thought I'd uh, do up a quick vid on how we do that. So, basically uh, what I've got is a Q-tip, cut it in half, uh, I'm going to assume you all know how to use scissors, so we won't go over that. Um, so, half a Q-tip here. Basically, the first thing you want to do um, is kind of start teasing this out. So just very gently pull it and kind of twist and pull it out into a uh, kind of a flame shape. And you want to twist it a little, and, and you got to be really gentle with this. This stuff is very fragile, and this um, uh, cotton will pull off of here real easy. Now these are um, uh, actually brand name Q-tip Q-tips. Um, you can use. I mean, there's they sell these things in the dollar store that aren't the brand name, but um, they'll work just as well. All right, so that's a pretty tall one. So you see, we've got kind of a flame shape there. So, next thing we want to do is paint the flame up. So, need some yellow, just flat, flat out yellow, and red. That's all we need. So, we're going to put uh, just a drop of yellow on the palette here. Because we don't need a whole lot. I'm going to go ahead and put a drop of red on the palette. And get my crummy brush. And all right, so when you go to paint this, now I'm going to leave the brush dry because uh, we're not really dry brushing, but um, we don't want to uh, we don't want it real wet. So um, basically, what we're going to do, we're going to start with the yellow. Just get a good good bit of yellow on there. And if you watch flames, especially off of like a torch, uh, you'll notice that they kind of twist up. So we're actually going to paint it that way. So start at the bottom here of the, the cotton and just paint kind of up in a diagonal and twist as you go. You're going to pull some of this cotton up. That's all right. Keep a good whack of uh, paint on the brush there, though. And I'll paint the yellow probably about halfway up. It's usually good. So, then we want some orange. So, you know, yellow and red make orange. So we take a little a little red here, mix it in get some nice orange and same thing just overlap the yellow paint this up with a little orange okay I'm just wiping some of the orange off the brush here now we just want to go straight with the red and paint that up. Pull a little bit of this off because I was getting a little gloppy at the top. Now this is a little fragile till the paint dries, but that's all right. It'll it'll stiffen up pretty good once the paint's dry on it. All right, so here we go. There's the. Uh, see if we can get this in the light so you can see. There, it's painted up. So um, let's leave this to dry. Uh, the the hardest thing about this uh, project 
is just letting things dry. You gotta you gotta be patient and let them dry. So there's gonna be a few drying periods here, but uh, let the paint dry good, and then we'll come back and finish this up. Okay, so I think we're about dry enough here. Um, so the next thing we're going to need is a piece of string or something to do the, the wrap around there. What I'm using is just some, uh, I, I think this is nylon, but nylon string. Just cut off a little piece. <clears throat> yeah, I'm sniffling and coughing and wheezing. I got a little bit of a cold here. We've got, uh, we've had about four seasons this week down in Florida, so the weather changes are just getting to me. All right, so anyway, what we're going to want to do is attach this on, but you do not want to use white glue because you're going to be tugging on this to wrap it, and that's just not going to work. What I'm using is uh, super glue gel. I uh, just put a little dot on there. You, want to, you don't want to put it under the yellow. You want to actually overlap the yellow a little bit. So just put a little dot of that super glue gel on there. And put the end of this on here and let it set. Do not tug on this or mess with it or try to wrap it yet. Just let this dry for a good five minutes or so so that it's really on there. And so I'm going to let this set and then we will be back. Okay, this thing is really good and dry. I let it sit for probably ten minutes just to make sure it's on there real good so I can tug on it. So all we're going to do is just kind of wrap this around and I'm going to use little dots of super glue on the back here just to kind of hold each wrap. This is a little tricky. Just get a little bit of super glue on there. Now I'm using the super glue gel. Uh, regular super glue would probably work fine. I just tend to prefer this gel. So just don't use white glue. It's not going to work. It's just not going to hold good enough. Now I'm wrapping this around uh, so I've got three wraps on the front and then I want to end it on the back here. And I'm just going to hold it like this um, for. I don't know, 30 seconds till that glue sets up and I can let go and then I'm going to let it sit and dry real good again. Hey, welcome back guys. Okay, so everything's dry. Now, all I did was took some uh, real dark brown. This is a, this color is called Espresso. And just base coated the, the string and the stick here. Uh, I didn't figure you needed to watch me do that. It's just basic, squirt some paint and paint it on. Uh, one thing you want to do, you do want to be careful of though, is make sure that all of the super glue is dried real thoroughly. Because if you get that on your brush, you're uh, never using that brush again. So just make sure it's dried real good. Um, <clears throat> these came out on the back end. I don't know how well you can see it, but uh, they're sticking up a little bit. I would probably uh, trim that off. Um, in most cases but uh, you know you can this is just a test piece so you, you you can figure that out so anyway we're just gonna I'm gonna squirt some some more paint out here we're gonna dry brush this up and then we'll be done so be right back alright so we're just gonna dry brush a couple of colors here I've got uh, the first one is gonna be uh, golden brown and then the last highlight will be fawn I'm just gonna do uh, Kind of a heavy dry brush with the golden brown. Uh, we don't want to get too much on, but um, so and I'm just I'm not going to do the stick. The stick just stays brown. I'm just going to dry brush uh, the the string here, the rope. Just kind of dry brush that up. Nothing uh, nothing new here. Basic old dry brushing technique. And then 
we're going to do a light, very light dry brush with the, uh, the fawn color. <coughs> And there you go. We are done. Um, pretty simple. Uh, you can knock off a, quite a few of these really quick. Um, and they, they look, you know, it's a really easy thing to do that looks pretty decent. Well, this one is made to be uh, kind of stuck in the ground upright. Um, the reason for that is the way that we've uh, done the, the flames they're going up what you want to be careful of is if you're gonna stick this like in a wall sconce at an angle or something you don't want to do it like this because flames don't shoot out like that so what you want to do is whatever angle you're gonna be at um, make sure you're pulling the the flames up at that angle uh, so that they come off now it's a little harder to do like that but you can still do it just make sure you're you're doing the flames at that angle uh, so it looks decent and when you paint it make sure that you paint it up like that so that when you stick it you know in the wall um, it doesn't look weird so just uh, be thinking ahead when you're doing this so you, you make sure the flames are at the angle you need them anyway thanks for watching guys hope that helped and we'll see you next time mm -hmm.